Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I painted my Igor, Igor skateboard. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to pronounce it the American way or the Russian way, which would actually be Igor. Anyway, so right here you see me prepping my board with just a typical white gesso. This board is made out of Chinese maple, I believe, and I'm not entirely sure if it's more suitable for skating or for hanging it on the wall. And here I'm masking, I don't even know if it's the proper way to describe what I'm doing right now, the background with just some cheap dollar store paint. I'm going for a pastel look, trying to match the vibe of the album. <clears throat> I'll be honest, I did listen to it as I was coming up with the design for it, and whatever lyrics were happening, I would just draw what came to my mind. Also, it's a good idea to take a picture of the underdrawing, I would call it, before you start coloring the background, because chances are you'll cover most of the pencil lines and will forget what you placed and where. Maybe it's just me because I do have a memory of a fish, but it's something to keep in mind. I wish I could speed up this video even more so, but I'm still a newbie at Premiere Pro, <laughs> Premiere Pro and apparently the English language. And this is already at a thousand percent speed limit, so if you guys have any suggestions on how I can make this even faster, it'll be greatly appreciated. So I plumped out some white, red, and magenta paint on top of my ghetto-ass palette. I'm not a pretentious artist, give me anything flat and I will make that my palette. Also, don't use palette knives to mix my paints either, that's just the luxury that I can live without. I use my brushes to swirl the paint around, and like any beginner, I use black paint to darken my tones and white paint to lighten them. Whatever works for you, everything in life is a personal preference. So during one of the lyrics, I imagined a pink brain running in a field with a yellow butterfly on its head, so I painted it. Brains are deceivingly easy or hard to paint, whatever word is suited for that sentence. They look like swirly mush, but for some reason, I can't draw slash paint it. Here I'm painting the legs, obviously. I don't even need to tell you that, it's pretty self-explanatory, so I'll just let it run. I don't know why, but for some reason I pictured flying bread loaves. They aren't even loaves, they're just slices, but when I say loaves, it sounds more satisfying. So they be flying around and shit, like the birds just going south into the distance or whatever. Who do I think I am? What was that? Like, what did I just say? <laughs> I really want to talk throughout this entire video like most artists do and they do it so effortlessly but I, I just I cannot I do not possess such a skill so I'm just gonna talk about nothing so it's not too boring even though it probably still is anyway enjoy me painting my loaves And then I create some purple by mixing blue and red, duh, and paint them shoes. I envisioned them hanging over the telephone wires. By the way, why do people do that? Is that a way of recycling them? Who takes them off? Do you think birds make nests in them? I recorded that joke. That's not even a joke. It was just a silly question a while ago, and right now I'm cringing listening to it. Enjoy! Anyway, so I envisioned them painting on a telephone wire by a telephone wire cord laces. The image that I had in my head was so much better than what I actually have right here. Um, it's trash. Speaking of trash, my room, my roommate, my living room, for some reason smells like just straight up farts. Like somebody's blowing farts into my nostrils. It's not relevant to anything that I'm doing right now, but this is just something that's going on. So 
So this dang mirror took me so long to paint because I wanted it to have more depth by adding some shadow in the creases and highlights on the edges and it just kept coming out all f***ed up and uneven and eventually made me give up. Also, don't try to fix your paint job while the paint is still wet. That's stupid. I'm stupid, so don't be like me. Let that bitch dry for a second and then coat it with another color. I wanted these dyes to be soft and fuzzy and retro and it looked better in real life, I swear, but the video kind of washes out the detail. By the way, what's a good cheap-ish camera to record with? Because I feel like this phone is not doing its justice, especially when I zoom in. And if you look very closely right here, you can actually see a piece of dandruff in my dumbass head that keeps popping in and out. So here, my patient ass finally got to paint over the mirror with a different color, and for some generic reason I painted the sky blue, even though it is clearly f***ing pink in the background. But this is what happens when you don't think twice. And some happy little clouds. Okay, so here comes the portrait part. I wanted it to resemble slash represent the album cover, but more of a, like a Stonehenge look with like offset outlines that you'll see me add later. But I also wanted it to look like Tyler, at least a little bit. Again, in this video, it's kind of hard to see, but if you follow me on Instagram, which I'll include at the bottom, or right here actually, you will see all my whips and progresses and titties and stuff. It's really fun, you should totally check it out if you're into TNA. AKA Tits and Art. I honestly want to talk about what I'm doing, but I have no freaking clue what I'm doing as I'm doing it, as anything goes in life typically. And as you could have probably been able to tell, Basically the entire video, the narration has been pre-recorded, by pre-recorded I mean I typed it out and then I just voiced it over and it's so obvious and it's so obvious that it would not make a good actress. And this one right here is very real because I'm pausing a lot and my tone of voice is slightly different. But this is what happens when your brain is full of farts and when you try to force creativity. Honestly, so many people told me or still tell me that if you just stay consistent and if you just, you know, push through this creative block, something great would come out. No, this doesn't work that way. If you're pushing through like a shitty time and you don't feel creative at all and you're doing it just because you have to do it so it feels like work, Nothing good is gonna come out of it. I mean, look at your first job. That should be like a clear example of not doing things that you don't wanna do because you're gonna end up hating them. I went through so many layers of this portrait as you can tell slash see. Um, the beauty of acrylic paints is also that once they get dry, you can actually go back to white or light with the colors because they don't get mixed up as watercolors for example would so it doesn't really matter if you go painting from light to dark or from dark to light because you can still achieve the desired look as long as you wait for the paints to totally completely fully dry i'm also trying to fill in this gap of just nothingness by talking about something without having to re-edit my whole entire video I wanted the head to be held by his own hand, but kind of like from above, like he's God, his own creator, get it, Tyler, 
the okay I usually do like a one coat of the original paint that I'm trying to go with and then I start to add some highlights and some shadows to it and gonna paint some nails afterwards and my highlights and shadows are completely fucked that's not even how it works and then I these black keys in the piano really got me messed up because my perspective is out of this world literally and <laughs> figuratively so here I did that offset outline just tested it out before I finished the entire skateboard I really liked his outfit in the earthquake video the hair flips the pants everything so I shoved it in here. Uh, this is a real lifetime recording and I honestly have not, nothing to tell you except for I'm totally digging for gold right now. You can't tell by the tone of my voice. Actually, no, just with my fingers and one nostril, not the other one for some reason. Anyway, so here I'm painting. <laughs> This is very hard. I don't know how these people do it. Like, it's, no. And again, with the telephone cords, I turn his mic cord into a telephone cord. I lost connection, you know what I mean? Honestly, I didn't even know what I meant by that. I thought it was sounding smart. <laughs> Again, I want things to look cartoony, but not too flat. So I'm a big fan of lights and shadows, as you can obviously already tell, even though I may or may not misplace them. So for lunch today, I had some egg noodles, stir fry mixed with some broccoli and mushrooms, and I completely overwent gun ho on the sauces because it was way too freaking salty, but I drink a lot of water, so that's a plus. So after the paint dries, I go in with some details. These details aren't even detail-y, I'm just, I'm trying to make it look more three-dimensional like I'm trying to do with the rest of the goddamn <laughs> skateboard. And when you stare at your artwork for way too long, things just stop to make sense. It's kind of like when you say the same word over and over and over again. It just stops making sense. It's such a weird phenomena. Is phenomena even a word? It, I don't know, man. I'm just trying to make some sense out of things here. So my living room still smells like farts. I've tried to open and close the windows and the fans and the vents, and I have no idea what's going on over here. <laughs> And one of the lyrics said, nah, so I put nah in there. Now what I mean? Please be free to comment how lame my jokes are in the comments below. Thank you very much. Okay, so the cherries I'm actually proud of. Not that I'm not proud of the whole dang skateboard itself, but I just went a little extra on them and made them extra dimensional as you can see. Round objects are always easier to add dimension to in my personal opinion, so I like them very much. Again, please do share um, any kind of camera advice for me because this whole out of focus on the iPhone thing is just not doing it for me. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to see the three hairs that I have on my head and focus and not the actual painting process so whatever suggestions you have please comment them below I know how to read I'm a, I'm a read them and I'm gonna respond most likely I've always wanted to be really good at painting clouds I still got a lot to learn about them because those things are so easy to paint flat but to add lights and shadows to them is so difficult to me. I just, I don't understand where the light's coming from and where it's piercing through and why are they so dark at the bottom? Are they dirty? Is it pollution? What's the deal with clouds? Also, please comment below. A 
And here I'm outlining basically the rest of the artwork. It's my favorite thing to do, just finishing touches really tickle my fancy. What tickles yours? Leave your answers in the comments below. So I'm starting to think that the fart scent is actually coming from me. I mean, I know it's not, I know it's not me, but because I couldn't find the answer, I'm just, I'm becoming paranoid and I'm thinking maybe I smell like farts. I don't know why I would, but, or somebody could be cooking meth up, up somewhere, you know? Somewhere in the apartment, someone's cooking meth. That could also be a thing. I low-key want to put a note somewhere in a common area like, hey, we can smell you cooking meth or something like that. <laughs> I wanted to fill the space with something, but my brain was all dehydrated from spewing out those other ideas. So I just went with his older album covers and painted some sunflowers. I think this suits theme very well too. It's summery, it makes you think of his other album. Same with cherries, even though he specifically said this is not Flower Boy, this is not Cherry Bomb, this is Igor. Igor? Igor? You know what I miss? I really miss Sims. Do people still play that game? Comment below. So for varnishing, I'm using glossy polymer varnish. You mix it with water, one part varnish, one part water, so you technically double the amount of what you bought, which is nice. And I really like this varnish because it reminds me of when you get to varnish an oil painting and the colors magically start to pop. This does the same thing only with acrylics. So you just swish it around and you start painting. Make sure your artwork is fully dry i know it's common sense but if you are impatient like me this one's for you so you kind of see how the colors change and become more vibrant as well as the damn marker trail so to outline the artwork i use both oil-based sharpie and a molotov acrylic marker guess which one of them it's the non-obvious one to me at least so i've never used the molotov marker before and thinking it's acrylic it should work fine with acrylic varnish so i tried it out your mom's house pun anyway so this piece started leaking as soon as it came in contact with the polymer varnish so there goes that i tried to save it by quickly wiping the excess flow that's what she said and i did a decent job i guess i revarnished the parts that i repainted and you can actually see it either on my instagram or my etsy shop i'll leave the both links i'll leave the both links i'll leave both links in the description below a part of me kind of wanted to leave the streaks on the dice because it looked kind of cool like it was moving with the wind but the thought came a bit too late as it normally does i did a little test for you guys to show slash prove which marker bled with the varnish contact i'm not sure how the molotov marker works with other varnishes or what people usually use it for it dried matte unlike oil-based sharpie which dries glossy which i actually prefer and yep you can see right there that that's the molotov marker Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you stuck out through this entire thing. I wanted to do something different and possibly more educational, but knowing me, I'll continue to try something different. And for that, thank you for your time and patience with me. Bless you.